What's up, everybody? It's DJ Young Hilly. We're out here on the boat. We are here to go tag some whales so we can study them. Welcome to Steamer Streets. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Steamer Streets. It's your boy DJ Young Hilly getting you connected with all the career opportunities because if you can see it, you could be it. Now, what if I told you there's a career where you could be out on the ocean, you could be in boats, you could be using cool technology to study animals and help them from extinction? Would you be into that? Well, if so, that career is called a marine ecologist. So what does a marine ecologist do? Well, an ecologist studies living things and their interactions with their environments. So a marine ecologist essentially does that with ocean life. And there's many different paths you can pursue in marine ecology. Now, the demand for a marine ecologist is projected to grow 5% within the next 10 years, which is pretty good. And with the focus being on climate change, we expect there's even a bigger need for people to be in this field and other marine science fields. Now, it all depends on what you want to do. Do you want to teach? Do you want to be in the field doing science stuff? Or do you want to be the person in charge, making decisions, holding it down? Well, with a bachelor's or a master's degree, you can start to make anywhere from forty dollars to $70,000 if you're doing research in the field. Now, if you up your skills and you continue to grow and you earn your PhD, then you can earn anywhere from $150,000 a year. And you can actually impact policy change. So you be making real big moves. And not only that, they also have to call you doctor. Call me doctor. So what can a marine ecologist do? Well, the planet is about 75% water, so there's a lot of possibilities. You could travel and you could collaborate with other people in different countries. You can do research on islands. Your office could even be on a boat. Come on, that's kind of cool. I'm feeling that. So you know what, Let, let's go steam the streets and let's go get on the water, come on. What's up? We're on a boat. I'm here with my homegirl, Tammy. Oh, excuse me. I should say Dr. Tammy. Um, so what are we here to do today? Well, welcome to our office for the day. Pretty nice Thank office. Thanks for having us. Right now we are on the sanctuary's research vessel, the Auk. We are headed out to the sanctuary and we're going to be studying say whales. They are a large baleen whale. They're actually endangered and we know almost nothing about them. So to learn about them, we're going to be putting these tags with suction cups on the whale. So that when you when you point the antenna at the tag, it beeps louder. And so the farther away you're pointing, it gets quieter. So you kind of have to hone in on where the tag is. It's kind of fun. <laughs> and the tag is kind of like an Apple Watch. So we'll be able to learn about the whale's movement and behavior in order to understand them and then protect them. So you're a scientist, which falls under the letter S in STEAM. What are some other marine careers that fall underneath that letter? So T, for example, we have technology. We're going out to study whales using these tags, but you got to know how to build the tag. You got to know how to program the tag and put in all the sensors so that we can learn about things like how fast the whale's going, how deep it's diving. So you need to be able to build and use specialized software to make the tag work properly. So we have ocean engineers and they build really cool things that we put in the ocean. For example, things like moorings, which is kind of like an anchor or a big buoy. Um, and the buoys that we have in the sanctuary, for example, you can attach different instruments to them, like an underwater microphone or a hydrophone, so that we can hear animals and know where and when they are there. Ooh, so you guys are like recording audio of the ocean. Exactly, so these buoys line the shipping lanes, they tell us when whales like the North Atlantic right whale are there, so that we can try and avoid them with ships. Now what about, you know, my favorite letter in STEAM is art. How does art play a part in all of this? So art is really important for science. So we collect all of these cool data on instruments like tags, but we need a way to communicate that to people. So being able to bring our data to life and tell a story is really important. All right, so let's, let's talk about math. How does, how does math play a part? So math is used everywhere. One example is data analysts, they do marine spatial planning. What do you mean spatial planning, like space? Not like space, like outer space with like planets and aliens and things, but space as in a certain area. Oh, so you guys are like, you steam to like build an area to make it safe. So almost like a sanctuary area. Exactly. Man, that's, that's great. So that's a lot of careers in steam. Can you think of any others? Like if you think about it. Whale spotted, all hands on deck. Gotta go, captain's calling. All right, all right I'm out of here. Just drop it. Go ahead, just throw it, just throw it, let it go. 
Now, if you think a career in marine science can be part of your story, you got to have some skills and you got to build a game plan. So based off what we've seen so far, we know some of the skills needed in order to be a marine ecologist. And just like being successful with anything in life, you need some power skills. Some people call them soft skills, 21st century skills. Over here, we call them power skills because we believe you can build them up over time like muscles. So here are two power skills that marine ecologists possess. Number one, problem solving. Say for instance you're in the field and one of your tools break. You have to come up with a solution in order to keep the job going. Or if you're out in the field and you're collecting data and you're trying to make sense of it and trying to come to a conclusion, but it just doesn't make any sense, you gotta learn to work through it. That's problem solving. And number two, communication. Sometimes in schools they assign us essays, presentations, and speeches, and we can't stand it. And we're asking ourselves, what is the point of us doing this? When is this ever going to show up in my life? Well, actually, writing and presenting show up all the time in professional life. And as a scientist, you need to think of yourself as an author too. Because if you're doing all this cool science stuff, but you can't share with anyone, then some of your discoveries may go unnoticed. Now it's time to put those skills into action. Here are three things you can do in order to get started today. Number one, you gotta do, do, and do some more. So what you can do is you have to seek out opportunities in your local community. Your high school may have a science club or a marine science club, and that's where you can get involved. Most aquariums and zoos also accept volunteers and have summer internship programs. So you can make new friends, you can find out what you like, and you can build with mentors who have similar interests. Number two, let's go to college. If you want to work for a marine sanctuary or a federal agency like NOAA, or you want to go into the world of academia to teach and do research, you need to have college. So take all the science classes you can in high school and keep going all the way through college. And number three, scholarships, fellowships, internships, all the ships. Once you get started on your path, there's a lot of opportunities to help you to get there. There are paid internships, there's summer programs, there's financial resources to help you. And they need more of us in this field. So there's a lot of scholarships for people of color in underrepresented communities. And if you don't even know where to start, go to the water. Figure out what type of species live in your backyard that need conservation. We all have a part to play. You just gotta figure out what's yours. There's so many opportunities in this world. And like our oceans, there's still so much left to explore. But there are problems that need solutions that can no longer be ignored. Marine biologists study the ways of life. Ocean engineers make sure things flow right. Marine science and human nature can't wait for later. Analysts in the field tell stories through the data that we need to act now. No time to back down. Preservations of a species ecosystems can drown. So we can just thrive, help the planet stay alive. And you could do this without a standard nine to five. You could be up on the boat, you could be up on the land. Endless opportunities, so the choice is in your hands. And turning ripples into waves is something that we can do. So have a career in marine science, just know this could be you.